All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Knights of the Card Table as part of the bundle for racial justice and equality uh, kind of super indie game lightning round that I'm rolling. I woke up today, itch.io had this big bundle, and I was like, oh, cool, this is filled with some great games. So I randomly selected this one first. I uh, didn't see the cards at all. No, uh, this this one just kind of stood out as kind of charming looking, and I love deck builder card game e things. And so I figured this would be the easiest to start with, and we'll dive through. It just looks charming. Card games. I'm the technical difficulties. This is fun. The order in which you face the dungeon's horrors is up to you. Drink that milk. Drink it. Guzzle it, boy. All right. You painted the floor with that easy, scary monster. All right. We kill the bees. Suck it, bees. Uh. Well, I guess I will just drink milk. And then drink Healy juices. Alright, third time's the charm, and if this doesn't work, then I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. So I'm going to just continue to drink Healy juices until this level is over and die, Cone! Luckily, we're still in the tutorial stage, so I can do this as much as I want. Beauty part is because I keep going back to the map because everything keeps breaking on me. I actually get more money. Oh, uh, if you drink three things in a row, you get special powers. It's true, ever since 5th edition. As a nice D&D reference. Alright, so we're going to uh, juice up as hard as we can, and then we're going to continue to juice up as hard as we can. We're going to have funds. Ooh, that's a lot of boons. That's the right word, right? Boons, boons, boons. What a weird word. Excuse me, I like the word boons. Die, mailman! Uh, let's drink the Healy juices. I'm just going to go for the money and assume that I'm going to be okay. Yep, I'm going to be okay. Special powers indeed. Bam. Boons, you're gonna need them for this slightly more menacing monster. Okay, I don't have much that I'm working with. He's got four HP. I'm gonna kill this mailman in the back. Probably gonna take some damage here, but eh, we'll see. Nope, he dead. All right, we're good. All right. Hundy, activate 100 cards. What? We get a pop. Not so hard to defeat 10 hard monsters. I'm pretty sure I was not allowed to have access to any of these. Maybe we just work on these and they give me some more money. That's probably the case. What a brave feat. 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 Feat of bravery. Well done, you hero, you. Save some of those pops for when you unlock a weapon, okay? Alright, level two. Uh, let's take a look at some things. I have funds. Ah. So I can unlock a sword. Reliable. Sword-like, but subscra subtracts one from your roll. Unlocks on the second level. What about the mace? Okay, so I, I don't... I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, I have to beat it. It actually shows you when you unlock certain things. Need to be at least 17 to travel to Expansion Island. I got it. All right. Treasure, shake for gold. Gold output will increase the further you descend into a dungeon. More on that later. Who's leaving these everywhere? Having successfully vanquished the tutorial dungeon, a completely normal dungeon, you march to meet your destiny. Oop. Okay. Milk up. Kill this man. Ow. Bees! Not the bees! Now do we go for the spider? The spider is dead. Ooh, and that gets me some bonus damage. Get out of here, bees. All right, so what are you? Oh, it was a secret bees. I will not be fooled. I guess I'm just gonna start milking up. I'm not entirely sure why my damage keeps scaling up like crazy, uh, but that's okay because it allows me to grieve upon bees constantly and it does terrible things to said bees. Now, was that sort of, like, black? Because that's a little concerning. Hey, we got a sword. That wasn't secret bees, it was a secret spider. But it was actually bees. Shh. A light shines over the horizon. What is this light, you say? The light is justice. The horizon responds. All right, so we got a sword. Oop. You're the proud owner of sword... Uh, you are the proud owner of sword equipped as your six-sided weapon. Oh, so D4, D6, D8, another D4, 
maybe attacks twice? Uh, 15%. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what the 15%, 10%, well. Oh. Oh no, I have multiple of these. Okay, well let's keep figuring this out. Switching weapons. Tapping on your hero will swap between your equipped weapons. To equip weapons, go to the forge via the icon on the map screen. Forge offers a variety of shields, adventures, and glorious snacks. You may have one weapon equipped on each die, so choose wisely. Congratulations on unlocking a multi-weapon perk. Some say it makes the player overpowered, and I agree! Now, oh, is it a 10% crit chance? That's probably the case. Die! Die, mail buddy! He's injured already! I'd feel bad. I do feel bad, I guess. Oh, ow. Should have probably used one of those damage boosts to go after the dog instead. Out of play. Floors. Many dungeons have multiple floors where rewards and dangers will increase as you descend. In the deepest of dungeons, monsters attack and health values can even increase. But what's this? Some dungeons have multiple floors. This revelation leaves you a gasp. Truly, the world is well designed. <laughs> Alright. Go after that. Wreck a dude, man. Hmm. Should have probably left that one alone. Drink up milk. I know we get the combo bonus, but I have so much money that I actually do not know what to do with it. Mainly because I have zero clue uh, how you do anything with it. So that was a crit. You throw two dice, I think, when you're critting? Ow. I will die if I continue this exact path. Alright. Go for that. Get the piggy bank. Flip the card. Gets me some healy juice. Drink up some milk and fight Missile Dog. We get another pop. Okay. Hey, thank you, Buzz5, for the raid and welcome. Uh, let's see. How go the itch.io games? We started with a good one. It we had some technical problems to start with, but otherwise, like, this game has been pretty dang good. Uh, let's see. I love the writing, it's pretty great. What's this again? A twist! As you wander th the killing fields, you're set upon by sneaky, slightly better monsters. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Let's not do that for a second. Let's switch to this one. Actually... I think the D6 is still better? We just straight up miss. Owie. Okay, we do bonus damage against that guy. Perfect. Uh, flip this. The grief upon him. Continue going for the weak dudes. Slam a jam that guy, no matter what. Uh, let's see. Go for the piggy bank. I doubt we'd have more. Flip that. Alright. Milk time. Do we have yet more? No. I'm gonna skip that power boost for a second. Because I want to fight something tougher. Alright, we're just going to demolish that bee. Because there's actually nothing left here. <laughs> Alright, we get a shield. And we get another pat. Okay, so I'm level 5. Does that give me... Oh... I am roguish, but none of my stats have gone up. At least not currently. Maybe I have to actually... No? Hmm. I am not sure. I'm also pretty sure pocket change... Wait, no. Maybe this got replaced recently. Where's the shield? Oh, shield. 
Good old shieldy. Keeps you from dying as often. 3% chance to dodge. Unlocks after level 4. 3% worse gives you a heart. Uh, I'll pick it up, seeing as it'll be a while before I get a shield. And we can also eventually be a punch boxer. A bandator. A sodomancer. A smack fighter. Pal around in. Uh, pal around a din. And a popcaster. Cool. I really like the music here. Missions. You have three active missions at a time. The stats you earn while on a mission is active. It counts towards its progress. Completing a mission without dying on a level will give you pops, gold, or unlock a weapon, item, or character class, and give you a new harder mission to complete. Press your luck by re-rolling your missions on the mission screen. Lose all progress on your current missions. A thing occurs. Training missions. Lots of missions. What will you do? Fight Battle Wolf. Drink. Milk. Endless milk. Kill mailman. You deliver to me nothing but spam. Fe do you feel no shame, Al? I feel some pain. Seems like a lot of these are kind of easy. Well, works for me. Oh, no, here we go. Ha! That was a mistake. Well. Work on my kill streaks. Nope, didn't kill him. There we go. So, kill streak works just because I attacked them three, uh, Attacked and killed multiple enemies in a row? I guess it makes sense. Oh, hell yeah, dog. Do you see what's coming? Do you see what's coming? I'm coming. And there we go. Activate 100 cards. And we've unlocked Punch Boxer. And a pop. Save pop can be used to skip some requests. Huh. Eh, eh, huh. We've unlocked a new character with crazy new abilities. Equip her in the forge and check out how she affects your stats on your character sheet. I drew that out myself. I like the art for this game. It works really freaking well. All right, so I am now a punch boxer. Maybe if I can become? Yes. You're the proud owner of punch boxer equipped as your awesome hero of justice. Stick and move. Plus three to crits and dodge. Any other... Negatives? The answer is no. So yeah, obviously I'd be this. How can I how can I become? Yes. Alright, so I am now a punch boxer. Also, thank you, Brian J, for the raid. How you doing? If you were having a, a lovely evening afternoon. Well, I guess you're in the same time zone as me, so it's late afternoon. Anyway, we are playing the uh itch.io bundle for racial justice and equality. Uh I just randomly picked this one out of the list. Because uh, it looked neat, and it is neat, and so we're just going to be going through as many of them as possible while promoting that bundle, because it's absolutely fantastic. Now I'm just going to hit the command anyway. If I can type it in, I should probably just like... There we go. Uh, but so in that bundle is 742 fantastic games. Uh, some are... Okay, maybe maybe not all of them are going to be fantastic. Some Some are just good. Uh, but there's there's a lot of really cool indie gems in there that, you know, I might not normally see on Steam even. And so we're taking a look at those and promoting it. And every every bit of uh, profit that that bundle gets uh, will be going straight to charity. And I I guess, let's see, some are porn games. I mean, I'm not going to judge them on whether or not they're good. I'm also not going to play them. <laughs> um... There's a game called Plant Daddy in that bundle. We might get to that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. So, poison. The label looks so exciting, but this beverage will leave a sour taste in your mouth. Each usage will reduce your next attack by its attack value. Streak three in a row and <laughs> cleanse your palate, if you know what I mean. Okay, so if I drink three of them, we puke. Adventure of Fat on Conquest is confronted by poison. Poison is sure to sap their strength, and it's green. Gross. Die. <laughs> I 
Blech. At least we don't take damage for this. Hello, ow. Hello, he is dead. All right, we good. Oh, that's just me switching my weapon. I was like, what happened there? The answer is poison happened there. Chug a horrible luck. I feel like uh, drinking three poisons in a row should actually uh, poison your next opponent. I'm going to regret. Nope, didn't regret. Well, he did. Uh, Bammo? Bammo. Okay, we've only got these. Admittedly, I've got one more poison to drink and I'm going into... Ah, no, that was actually the end of it. Hey! Level rewards. Between each level, the player's avatar will be allowed to choose between two randomly sorted prizes. These prizes shall now or shall show based on their rarity and the game master's whim. Players are not allowed to complain about the prize's selection under the penalty of contracting winterism. Winerism? Winerism, of course, being a level 5 disease on par with break characteritis. All right, Professor Rule Lawyer, I realize now that I should have been granting rewards between levels. I looked it up online, and I guess you're right, maybe. <sighs> Giving player rewards is actually, like, legit tough. I might die here. <sighs> yep, I'm dead. Uh... Yes. Gosh, RNG is not working for me here. It's downright terrible. I think I'm still better off with the D6. Feels a bit wasteful just to use that to kill a mailman. Well, we still got the pukins and we we killed the bees. That could have gotten risky. All right, alter the gods. Soda fountain, heal a heart, or cash money. More gold. Oh, I see, between f floors. That makes sense, die. This is going badly. Fight the bees. Ow. We are now dead. Restart. Okay, so probably do not use pops. To revive myself ever. Wow. This is just the worst business. I will not buy back my soul. That is not worth it. We're having a terrible time here. Okay. How? Why? I am actual cursed. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, RNG is not working with me. It is, it is just like, hey, Wanda. And then just kind of punches me. And I'm like, why would you do that? My roommate in college did that, and he was a jerk. For some reason, the dude was always just like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a totally reasonable f thing for me to just slug my roommate. I should have stood, stood up to him better. Problem is, the guy was like a solid eight inches taller than me, and definitely not the kind of guy that would immediately listen to you unless he stopped. Uh, or wouldn't immediately listen to you unless, like... Somebody else was there to be like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Freeze chance. Hell yeah. That sounds fun. Wish I had more stuff like that. Anyway, die. The one problem with the whole freeze chance business is, of course, most things don't live very long or they just kill me outright. Oh, 
Okay. We gotta start healing a bit. Okay. What are the hidden things? So that I may slay them? Now. Uh, yeah, we'll just give the bees. Let's milk up. Oh, well, we're going to be poisoned and all sorts of super milks. Hell yeah! Uh, let's see, anyone who plays D&D, have you ever gotten or seen someone get a zero or lower on a roll? It's not possible on a roll. You can't have a uh, natural zero, but you can have a dirty zero. And I've, I've gotten dirty zeros in the past. Uh, we were... Gosh, what were we trying to do? I was definitely solidly in the negative. It was one of the first times I ever had a rogue in D&D, and, uh, effectively, I was trying to sneak through an area, and I'd rolled, like, hide and move silently. And this is about the same time we kind of discovered, like, various modifiers and whatnot. And so, like, you know, lighting, whether or not, like, your character is wearing heavy armor or something like that. And I, I think I had worn, like, a, a chain shirt, being like, eh, armor check penalty isn't so bad. And then I rolled a nat 1 in, like, a well-lit area just to sneak past, like, a basic goblin or something like that. Uh, and effectively, nat 1s are bad. Like, real bad. Uh, and then, yeah, lit area... And then Jangle. I think there was like one or two other factors we hadn't even considered. That was like a freaking negative 16 or something when we tabulated it all. And effectively, I, I got the entire warband aware of my existence. Uh, I think that the the, uh, the explanation my DM gave is that my character stubbed his toe and shouted real, real loud. Or, we were like fourth graders, so it wasn't too much. But ever since... I've always been leery about uh, rolling nat ones when it comes to stealth. Anyway, uh, fireball, fire, fireballs, fireballs. Spell cards are one-time use cards that cast one of six different magical whatchamacallits. Fireball spells the easiest to learn and hits all enemies currently in play for a point of entropy damage. It's OP if you ask me. Zoop, swish, chow, magic noises. Magic lore in this place reveals an ancient secret to you. The fabled fireball spell. Fireball. Oh, but it only gets... Well, it's fine. Get out of here. Hello. That didn't really help as much as I was necessarily going for, but that's okay. Die, bees! I'm enjoying this. This is very much kind of in the same vein as Dicey Dungeons. And I'd love to see more games like this. Well, this is just, uh... This is just me! <laughs> just went full arson on the whole, uh, U.S. Postal Service. Oh, boy. Freeze. Chill, dude. Freeze all enemies in play. Frozen enemies will have to thaw before they can attack. Each opportunity to attack... A monster will reduce their frozen amount by one. Only affects the cards on screen. Next dealt card misses out on the fun. More cool thing, more cool sounding magical noises happen. In addition to the power to burn, you've defined the power to freeze, and how villains will have to thaw out before they can attack you back. That was a tennis ball. Well, that's okay. Murder! Goodbye, bees. I failed! There was no point in any of these. I kinda wish I could actually hold on to these. Alright, and we're good. We got it. We got some paps. Did I unlock anything new? Doesn't look like it. So I gotta be level... Oh, I see. I gotta be level 10 to get the dagger. Daggers? What about the mace? 
Oh, after level 11. I do not know when I unlock th this. Oh, so you have to play for a while before you... Oh, gosh. This just keeps going. The chain breaker. 75,000 gold. The flash stabber. That's through to the next enemy. Let my cards go. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Uh, probably instant death. Oh, it gives you a shield heart. High crit damage. Oh yeah, 20%. Okay. The Thirsty Blade. D6 with a chance to steal life. Ooh. I like this music. I wish there was more of this. This is pretty great. Alright, so this game clearly has a lot more depth than I thought it would. I thought this was going to be like a quick little indie game lightning round situation, but no. This is, uh, it just keeps going and going and holy crap, it is, this is the end. Okay. One way or another, this is a fantastic little game. I like it. I can't believe I haven't heard of it before and I'm kind of surprised it's only on itch.io. I gotta look this one up a little bit, a little bit before we go just because. Uh, I guess, yeah, you guys can't really see what's going on, but that's fine. Uh, because I forgot to turn on display capture. Okay, there you go. It froze. Uh, for whatever reason, this game does not agree with game capture in the slightest. But yeah, check out how freaking long this game is. I, I thought this was going to be like a, a short roguelike or a dicey dungeons thing. But no, it is. It is freaking lengthy. It's nuts. Uh, so before we, before we sign off on this one... I'm gonna very quickly uh, double check. Seeing as I'm playing this, is this is this coming to Steam? If I spell it right, Knights of the Card Table. It is on Steam. Okay, it's actually been on Steam for two years now. How did I never hear about this game? Ah, huh. that's cool. It's five bucks normally. Uh. But yeah, it's just been there for a while. I am really impressed and I wish I had heard about this back in 2018. Uh, when it did come out. Bit of a... Bit of a... I don't, I don't know. Marketing is hard, apparently. Anyway, so because this is the Super Indie Game Lightning Round and I have so many games to check out, I'm going to keep moving, but this was a fantastic little quick look. And a fantastic little game. I really liked this one. Uh, but onwards!